Hi everyone, my name is Priscilla. Um, I decided to do a little Mika Bella tour, uh, tutorial, I'm sorry, they're Mika Beauty now. Mika Beauty makeup tutorial for people who have just started getting into it but don't really know what to do with all the shimmers or feel a little intimidated by the shimmers. Um, so you're not going to end up like this <laughs> when the video's over. I just got out of the shower and washed my face of all that stuff. So um, I hope you enjoy it. And remember, this is my first one, so the um, the focus is kind of off just because I can't see the back of it while I'm filming, so hopefully the next ones will be better. But I kind of did the best of what I could with what I got in this one. So anyway, hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Hi, welcome to my video. Made it Mika Beauty Mermaid Summer Tutorial. Um, I didn't get a chance to record me putting on foundation, but basically you're just going to take a big powder brush and rub it all over your face. I did prime beforehand with their primer. Um, I'm putting on blush here in the color Desert Dusk, and in their foundation I'm the color Cappuccino. So I'm just going to apply that to both my cheeks, and then I'm going to take their small eyeshadow brush and apply it. This is actually a color stack, what they originally came out with. Um, so I don't know the number for the shadow, I just know it's the third one down. It's sort of a light pink. Um, and I'm just going to apply this wet. The skull that I held up, it, it has water in it. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do with it, so I put water in it. And I'm going to start from the inner corner of my eye to about halfway on my lid and not go into the crease. Just do it right in the beginning of it. I'm going to do it in the other eye. It's a really light shimmery pink. All these eyeshadows are very, very shimmery. Then I'm going to use the second shadow down. Um, again, I don't know the name of this because the names are not on the stack, which is probably why they stopped doing the stacks because you just, you don't know what the colors are. Plus they're really, really messy. Um, so I'm just going to start applying that from the other half to the other half of my eye. Again, I'm not going into the crease. I'm just, so now I have two eyeshadows. The light on one side and the darker one on the other. Then I'm going to go in with a color called Ultraviolet. It's this really beautiful purple color. It is my favorite purple ever. It's so iridescent and so rich and I'm going to go in a V shape on um, kind of like how you would do a smoky eye with your dark color. You would just make a V from your crease to your lid um, and it's going to blend in with the other colors that I put on it and make it even just make it a richer purple. Purple. Oh my god, I love this color. It's so gorgeous. And the good thing about these shadows is when you put them on and you make a mistake or something or you go too far, you can literally just take your finger and rub it off and like you'll be fine. So easy. This next shade, I believe I held up bronze. And this is what I'm gonna put in my crease to sort of blend out the harsh lines. And all and I have wet every single one of these shadows. I'm not using a primer or anything because I just wanted you to see their staying power. They're so potent, they're amazing. You just, yeah, so I'm just using my blending brush and I'm going into my crease and blending out those harsh lines that I created. I believe I'm going all the way up to my eyebrow, but it is possible that I switch colors eventually. I can't, I can't remember, I did this yesterday. <laughs> no, actually I'm pretty sure I did switch colors eventually. Um, so we'll see them in the next. I'm just blending it out. And now I'm going to take a color called Striptease and put that right under my brow. It's a lighter version of bronze. Bronze is actually something that I got in my Ipsy package. It's a beautiful color. All these colors are beautiful. They're just, they're so shimmery and again, great stain powder and you can use them for anything. Um, a lot of the times I'll take a shimmer and put it on my lips and mix it with balm and just have a beautiful lipstick. Like they're just, and honestly, I, I wish I could do, I had done the comparison, but putting that over primer compared with water, like you really can't tell a difference. Okay. So now I'm going to take this color called Vibrance. It's just a really gorgeous blue. And I'm going to use this to line my bottom lash. There we go. And again, I took that small 
eyeshadow brush and I'm just using it to get really detailed and I'm just lining right under my eyelashes. And when they're wet, you have so much more control over, over it as opposed to just applying the powder straight onto your eyes because when you do that, you get a lot more fallout in this way. It kind of creates like a little paste that you put on. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. So it's going right under my eye. And then I'm going to go back with strip tease and I'm going to put it just under the corners of my eyes to kind of give it a little highlight and to blend it out, add a little more dimension. Right there. There we go. So I'm just going to blend it into vibrance. And this is just a really fun summer look. I think it's cool. But I love bright colors. I wear bright colors like on a daily basis. The only time I really wear neutrals is when I go to work. Just so I can, you know, look professional, blah, blah, blah. But this is honestly how I prefer to wear my makeup. Because I feel like if you're not going to be bright and bold, what's the point? So then I'm just going to go in with my fingers and sort of clean up the messy areas. Oh, actually, I am not. <laughs> so this is MAC Alluring Aquatic. Uh, this is the lipstick I'm putting on. I don't know why I didn't use a Mika Bella one. I think I was just, I was really tired. It was my first video. I've been working on this for a minute or two. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going in cleaning up the harsh edges. There we go. Um, but this shade is mystical, in case anyone was wondering. It's just a, a natural color. Because your eyes are so bright, so it's better to just do a natural lip color. And then I'm going in with Wet n Wild Waterproof Mascara. It's not my favorite or anything. It's just a mascara that I happen to grab. And after that, it's your choice as to whether or not you do eyeliner. I didn't do eyeliner. Um, but if you want a more defined eye, you could use it like a black or a brown. Or just fill in your waterline with a nude. I don't have any nude um, pencils, so I didn't do that. I just sort of left it like this and I and I really like it and I hope you do too and I hope you found this video helpful and this is the final look um, I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please press the like button below leave me a comment and once again thanks for watching